context is that we are inside a tenant uh, where uh, Acrobat has been set as the default PDF viewer uh, for users inside that tenant. And brochure with him, which is uh, which is work in progress, and he wants to provide feedback. And when he clicks on that PDF that has been shared with him on chat, it now opens in the Acrobat uh, PDF viewer uh, and not in uh, the team's native viewer. And you see that in this viewer, uh, Diego has access to tools such as commenting, and also uh, if he was a paid user, would be able to use other tools uh, such as export, organize, uh, combine files, uh, etc. For now, Diego just wants to provide uh, inputs uh, to Megan, and so uh, can use a commenting tool uh, to let Megan know uh, about his views on on what she has created. So. Just mentioned a comment there uh, saying that he likes this quote and is asking Megan to check the pricing uh, on this table that she has she has posted. So I so that's what Diego did, right? Um, how collaboration gets unlocked uh, using this is now I move to Megan's view and what she's seeing is her chat uh, uh, her chat with Diego inside of Microsoft Teams. So when she goes ahead. Uh, and selects the PDF file that she had shared with uh, Diego for review. Uh, what she'll be essentially able to do uh, is that she'll be able to see the comments that Diego has posted uh, on this PDF document. And she'll also be able to reply to these uh, as well. So for example, uh, here she's thanking Diego for uh, uh, for him for his comment and uh, is also responding to this uh, comment from Diego on, on checking the pricing for finance. And then quickly moving to Diego's view again, Diego can actually see the comments that Megan has uh, has put on, on this uh, document. And uh, and so you can see that it's it becomes very easy to collaborate on PDF files uh, using uh, once uh, Acrobat becomes the default PDF viewer in Microsoft Teams. What you can also see is uh, this. You saw that the Acrobat viewer was opened from within uh, a user's chat. Uh, what a user also has access to is if they open the Acrobat app from the side rail, they land up on this page, uh, which is a home page, not too different from what you would have seen for Acrobat sign. And here, what a user can do is that they have all available tools uh, up front, so they can use these tools to uh, work on their PDF files. They also have a repository of all their recent PDF files, uh, and if they click on it, then uh, it again. And it's easy for the user to come back to that home screen as well. The other thing that uh, the Acrobat app has, uh, it also has a repository of all your OneDrive and Teams and Channels documents. So there's an entry point here where a user, if they want to browse their OneDrive documents and folders or uh, their different Teams channels uh, and look at the files that have been shared within them, uh, they can go ahead. And when they click on a PDF over here, again, it opens up uh, in the Acrobat viewer uh, from here. And uh, that's it.